Thanks, Cancorla. Uh, well, uh, as a former member of a Dublin local authority during the 1980s and 1990s, I strongly welcome the Mann report and its findings. The report has taken a decade and a half to complete. I believe it is worth the, the length of time and the cost involved. I wish to comment on a number of the modules in the time available uh, in, the, in the Mann report. Firstly, I want to talk about the Clochran cargo bridge model in Chapter 7 of the report. Clochran is located on the boundary of my Dublin North East constituency, uh, close to Dublin Airport. In 1992, there was a campaign to rezone lands at Clochran for the Cargo Bridge Warehousing Consortium. The difficulty for the consortium, which included Neptune Freight, was that access to this, this site was over lands owned by the Minister for Transport. And on October the, the 1st, 1992, Fianna Fáil Deputy John McGuinness, then a member of Kilkenny County Council, made direct representations by letter to the then Taoiseach Albert Reynolds in relation to allowing the consortium to access the site over lands owned by the Minister for Transport. At the same time, Deputy McGuinness's brother, Michael McGuinness, was the director of Neptune Freight. The Mahan report states that Michael McGuinness gave £10,000 in cash to Frank Dunlop in the knowledge that at least part of that money would be used for corrupt purposes. The report also states that Michael McGuinness refused to attend the tribunal. Now, can call it. Fianna Fáil Deputy John McGuinness uh, recently made strong and trenchant attacks and criticism of the tribunal on its publication, particularly in relation to the tribunal costs. At the same time, he neglected to mention his own intervention in the Cargo Bridge affair. In fact, earlier today, uh, in Deputy McGuinness's um, contribution in, in the chamber here a short time ago, he also failed to address the Mahan report's uh, comments on his involvement in that affair. And I think that, that is deplorable, absolutely deplorable, Cancorla. Deputy McGuinness is currently chairman of the Public Accounts Committee. I would call on Deputy John McGuinness to step aside as chairman of the Public Accounts Committee in the light of the Mahan Tribunal's account of his involvement in the Cargo Bridge affair. A major part of the Tribunal report deals with the Quarry Vale lands, and I want to address um, that in, in the time available. At that time, I was a member of Dublin, an elected member of Dublin City Council. And part of the Quarry Vale lands, approximately 64 acres, although located in the Dublin County Council area, the lands were in the ownership of Dublin Corporation, as it was then called, and any sale or disposal of these lands was a reserve function of the elected members of Dublin Corporation. In 1998, these lands were considered by Dublin County Council as suitable for commercial development, and in early 1989, Dublin Corporation proceeded to the sale of these lands by way of public tender. On the 19th of May 1989, a written report was put to the Dublin Corporation Planning and Development Committee, of which I was then a member, to sell the Quarry Vale lands to Mr Thomas Kilmartin for the sum of £5.1 million Irish pounds. The Planning uh, Committee uh, uh, that day approved this report on the recommendation of, of the manager. At the following monthly meeting of Dublin City Council on the 12th of June, the recommendation of the Planning Committee was agreed by the full Council meeting on the proposal of Fianna Fáil Councillor Joe Burke. The Mahan Tribunal was set up in 1997 and its hearings on the Quarry Vale module began in early 1999. I was greatly alarmed and shocked, Cancor, at the revelations that were made known at the tribunal hearings ten years after Dublin City Council uh, had voted, and a vote which I had participated in. In page 211 of the, of the report, Mr Th Thomas Kilmartin, who I agree with my colleague, I accept him to be an honest man, he told, minute. Minute. He, he told the tribunal of a discussion <coughs> he had with Bertie Hearn TD, then <coughs> Minister for Labour, <coughs> in May of 1989 in relation to Mr Kilmartin's tender, which was under consideration to purchase the Quarry Bay lands. Mr Kilmartin told the tribunal that some days after his discussion with Bertie Hearn, Councillor Joe Burke, then Vice Chairman of the City Council, Dublin City Council Planning Committee, arrived at Mr Kilmartin's office. Uh, Joe Burke told Mr Kilmartin that he had been sent by Bertie Hearn in relation to um, Mr Kilmartin's uh, acquisition of the Quarry Bay lands. Mr Kilmartin further told the tribunal that he received a phone call from Councillor Joe Burke on the 13th of June 1989 to inform him that Dublin Corporation had approved his tender. In the light of these revelations in 1999, ten years later, I came to the conclusion that many of the Dublin City Council members who voted for the sale of the Quarry Bell lands were clearly not given all of the facts of what was happening in the background in, in relation to the activities of Fianna Fáil Councillor Joe Burke and the then Minister Bertie Hearn. I believe that Joe Burke at the very least misled his colleagues by failing to inform them 
of his role in the Quarry Vale affair. He certainly never told me of what he was at. Thank you, Deputy. Uh, if I could just conclude, I, I, I could go on, uh, can call it, uh, but um, I, if I can go, go to the end, Sorry, I think that there is, I, I agree fully with the recommendations in, 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 in the report. I support the statement that political corruption diverts public resources to the benefit of the few, to the detriment of the many, and that corruption in public office is a fundamental breach of public trust and is inherently com incompatible with the democratic nature of the state and that anti-corruption measures must focus on ensuring um, tr you. transparency and accountability. Um, I am proud to have been a Dublin Labour councillor for nearly 32 years before I was re-elected to this House uh, on the 25th February last. Unfortunately, I, I, there is more I could say, but the time doesn't allow me. Thank Sorry. you, Thank Corbyn. you, Deputy. Uh, now we call on... Uh